Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're going to have to excuse how I sound. Uh, I literally just woke up not too long ago, and your boy had a date last night, and I had to walk my sorry lover boy butt in the rain. So, yeah, uh, and as always, I apologize for all these terrible ads on uh, YGO Organization. Um, but the OCG ban list did drop, and I really wanted to talk about it um, because... Uh, th this this list is garbage, and Snake Eye is still the best deck in the OCG. Um, also, if my mic sounds bad, like I've said before, some people still ask about it. I have a Blue Yeti. For some reason, it comes across like I'm inside a microwave whenever I screen record. So, if anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. Uh, so, banned. Catapult Turtle and Kaiser Coliseum. So, there's um, a Catapult Turtle FTK when I was reading the comments on here. Um, the new Tachyon support that's in, uh, I think it's Infinite Forbidden, um, whatever has the new Tachyon stuff that they revealed, I think it's Infinite Forbidden, uh, there's an FTK, so they banned Catapult Turtle, uh, and then they finally banned Kaiser Coliseum, this card should have always been banned, banned in the TCG years ago because it caused ruling issues, that's all adorable. Uh, limited, Plush Fire, it has an errata, it could honestly go to three, but something that you need to keep in mind with the OCG. The OCG is very conservative. They're very much more, let's put it at three, then two, then one, then ban it. Um, very often, um, sometimes it does go from like three to ban or two to ban. Like we saw with Kaiser Coliseum, I think they put it from three to two and then just banned it. So do keep that in mind. Um, plus Fire and Kieran to one. Uh, Kieran could go to three. The deck is garbage. So Beatrice at one. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, wow. So... <clears throat> I actually misread this. I thought it was banned. This doesn't do anything. <laughs> so, <clears throat> it prevents looping now that it's at one. Sure, because I'm pretty sure it's not a hard once per turn. Um, this doesn't do anything to Snake Eye. Snake Eye Ash is at one. They can still just play the Fiendsmith cards with Beatrice and dump the Snake Eye Ash and have access to it. So, wow, Jesus Christ. I totally misread that. Okay. Little Knight is at one. That doesn't matter. Ash, Gimmick Puppet String, Sang and Summoning, and Summon Limit. This doesn't do fucking anything, guys. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, well, we'll talk about it. Uh, Semi-limited, all the Dragon Rulers. Uh, my dad actually just told me that they're all at three in Master Shits. Granted, that's a garbage game in a garbage format, but they're at three and no one plays them. So, I don't think the Dragon Rulers being at three in the actual real game would really change anything. Quick Fix to two, sure, the deck is garbage. Bonfire to two, this does nothing. And then to three, literally none of these matter, except maybe Time Seal with Trap Trick or Trap Track. Uh, Glow Up Bulb, Ib, Colossus, Orphus, Scorpio, and Time Seal. Let, let's talk about the things that actually matter here. Um, Beatrice to one does jack shit. Um, the issue, and Joshua Schmidt talked about this too, it's actually a really good point. When you hit consistency cards, if you have generic cards in the game that provide consistency anyway, then it doesn't change a damn thing. So Ash going to 1, Bonfire going to 2, Wanted is already at 1 in the OCG. Uh, this doesn't change anything. Like, Beatrice should have been fucking banned like 5 years ago, and it's still here. So literally all the, the Snake Eye decks have to do is just supplement some other kind of engine along with the Fiendsmith cards for the loss of like Ash and a Bonfire if they even play anything else. Maybe they just play more hand traps or triple tack talents, whatever. Um, and then there's still a tier one deck. So something that someone said in one of the comments here um, was that a, a Snake Eye is still going to be the best deck, but you're going to see more like Rescue Ace and other things like that. That's definitely not going to be in the case of the TCG if all they hit is what we've seen here in the OCG. It's still going to be the best deck. They're, we're still going to see Snake Eyes be a tier zero deck. Um, th this list is garbage. Like, hitting Gimmick Puppet of Strings to one, I think, solves the FTK issue with Gimmick Puppet. But, like, Snake Eyes is a bigger issue than Gimmick Puppet, I would argue. Like, it's, it's really insane. And, like, Little Knight going from three all the way to one, I feel, is more of an OCG issue. It's kind of whatever. But... The OCG is going to, like, what is this? Their third fucking format with Snake Eyes? Like, Konami really does not want to hit this deck. And yet, they're just dodging, like, bullets in the Matrix ways to hit this deck. Like, bon Bonfire to 2. Like, this this is such an OCG thing. In the TCG, they would definitely put Bonfire to 1. I've been saying that Bonfire needs to go to 1. I think that would be a great hit. Um, OSS is still not banned. 
I'm I'm in shock. So what does this mean for the whole thing of Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole? I think the game is really just past its prime. I think it's really dying. I'm really curious to see how the OCG player base reacts to this. Um, some people were hoping that Max C was going to be banned since now Mulchum is a thing. But that didn't happen, so Max C's at 3 and Mulchum is at 3, so just draw all the cards in the world, Sugar Boo Bear. Um, it, Konami of Japan, I'm, I'm shocked. Like, this list is just dog shit. Like, I'm, I'm really hoping and praying that the TCG just knocks out Snake Eyes. It, at the very least, if you don't hit... Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, you guys. I just woke up. Uh, if they, if all they do is hit OSS, I'm happy. But uh, this list as it stands, don't don't go play OCG format because it's just going to be our format but with different colored pom poms and I don't know one plush fire which doesn't even fucking matter and one second summoning. The the hits to Tempai don't matter. Like all of the hits that aren't Snake Eyes related honestly don't matter because Snake Eyes is still the best deck. Like second summoning at one is a good hit. But it's kind of like, who cares when Snake Eye is still the best deck in the room, you feel me? So, Konami needs to fix this format. They need to give it that hock to and really fix this format. <laughs> but guys, let me know what you think. Um, I, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! Is, uh, is on its way out. I mean, they, they keep dropping the ball. And it's, it's not looking good. It's really not. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.